I've done a number of videos here on the channel about using ADB to customize or modify the Android operating system in ways that we simply cannot do with the user facing features of Android. This can range from anything between rebooting into fast boot mode to uninstalling bloatware from the default user account. Sadly, not everyone has a PC on hand to execute these commands, and until recently, we've always needed a PC connected to the phone via a USB cable in order to run these commands. A couple of years ago, a developer that goes by TYTY Draco released an application called LADB. This stands for Local ADB since you can use it to execute these AD commands locally right on your device. So with this application set up, you no longer need a laptop or a desktop PC in order to run some of these ADB commands on your phone. This is all possible thanks to the wireless debugging feature that was added to Android a few years ago. But before we can use any of this, we first need to enable developer mode on your phone. If you haven't done this already and need help with this step, then please check the video description below as I'll be linking to a separate tutorial that I did specifically for this task. Once developer mode has been enabled, then we need to download and install the LADB application on our smartphone. You can find this application in the Google Play Store for a few bucks, but it is also open source, so you could compile the APK from source as well. But if you're wanting a f to grab a free copy of this APK, I'll be including a download link to the file in the video description as well. This file has been provided to the community thanks to GitHub user BTR Tech, who has recently begun compiling the application from source for everyone. Now I will say this application can be a bit buggy, but after multiple attempts and once I rebooted the phone, I was able to get LADB working on my Google Pixel 6 running the latest Android 13 QPR beta. So in order to set up LADB, it requires some very specific steps. First, we're going to open up the settings application and then we're going to minimize it. Then we're going to open up the LADB application and you should be greeted with this pairing information box. It tells you that you must use split screen mode or else the codes will not work. And we need to grab the port and the pairing code from wireless debugging. So after we open up LADB, let's bring you to the Recents page. We're going to tap the icon up at the top so that we can enable split screen mode. And then we're going to use the Settings application as the bottom app here. So now we're going to scroll down to the bottom of our settings so that we can go into Developer Options. And then you're going to want to look for the wireless debugging option right here. This is going to be disabled by default. So we're going to tap this to enable it. And then we're going to go in here to see the pair device with pairing code option. So we're going to select that. And you can see we have a pairing code and an IP address and a port number. So we're just going to, to adjust this a little bit so we can see both of them right here. So we're going to take the Wi-Fi pairing code 174875. 
root 4, 8, 7, 5. And then we're going to take the port number. The port number is what is after the colon here. It's after the IP address. So in this instance, the port number is 42535. 42535. So we're going to confirm that these two numbers match up the pairing code and the port number. And now we're going to tap on OK. You may be told that it can take up to two minutes to pair, and that's normal. You're just going to wait. And if everything goes correctly, you should see the text entered ADB shell. Success. This means everything has worked, and you can now execute some ADB commands directly from here. If the application does not overtake the entire page like you saw here, we can swipe down and make sure that the LADB application is now overtaking the entire page. So now we are in an ADB shell prompt and we can execute any ADB commands that we want. You just have to remember, remember that we're currently in an ADB shell so using the letters ADB at the beginning of the command is usually not required. For example, I can reboot the phone over into fastboot mode. The command usually is ADB reboot bootloader, but again, since we're already in an ADB shell, we don't need to use those three letters at the beginning of the command. We're just going to execute the reboot bootloader command. And after a few seconds, you should see the phone reboot. And now we are in fast boot mode, AKA bootloader mode. I'm just going to boot us back into Android from here. As that was simply an example of a working ADB command for you here on this video. Remember, we can execute any ADB, ADB command from here. So again, if you wanted to uninstall some bloatware, enable some hidden developer features, any other ADB command that you would normally do with an extra desktop or laptop PC, we can now do thanks to the LAD application right here.